Disclaimer. Please forgive me now for there may be mispronunciations in this video. The succubus and incubus, also known as succubi and incubi, for plural, are female and male demons of seduction. Of course, whether the incubi and succubi are technically male or female has been the subject of debate. Many demonologists suggest that the creature is singular and can change its sex to suit its intended victim. They may appear beautiful and appealing or frightening and repulsive. When one takes a closer inspection, it may reveal that there are deformities on her body, such as bird-like claws or serpentine tails. At night, they hunt for sleeping humans to mate with, at which they invade their victims' dreams and seduce them. This demon has a long and varied history in myths and legends around the world, and has often been used as an excuse for sexual misbehavior of different kinds. For example, if a man raped a woman while she slept as a result of dreaming, were often thought to be the work of an incubus, while nocturnal emissions, or wet dreams, were believed to be the work of a succubus. However, these visitations by such demons could seriously damage the victim's health, resulting in disease or even death. Various characters in history were believed to be the offspring of the incubus. The great wizard Merlin was said to be a Camion, that is, the child of an incubus and a human mother. A Camion could also be the offspring of a succubus and a human father. Another character or person who was believed to be a child of one of these demons was a Sumerian king. Back in the 2400 BC, according to the Epic of Gilgamesh, the king was sired by an incubus called Lilu. Lilu was or is a demon who wandered about the plains seeking to cause pain and harm to human beings. Some scholars that study that period believe that the legend of Lilu arose in an effort to explain perplexing forms of mental illness, such as sexual deviancy. Lilith was the female counterparts of this demon, causing nocturnal emissions. Other demons in this category include Urdu Lili and Ardat Lili, male and female storm demons who are said to mate with humans producing ghostly offspring. According to the Malus Maleficarum, or the Witch's Hammer, the succubi collected semen from men they seduced. The incubi would then use the semen to impregnate human females. This explained how demons would apparently sire children despite the traditional belief that they were incapable of reproduction. It is difficult to cast out these demons and ward off their attacks. One of the ways is this. If the sign of the cross was made over the victim, the demon might flee. If a confession was made in which the victim recited his or her sins, this might have the same effect. And lastly, a ritual exorcism could be attempted. In later folklore, a succubus took the form of a siren, a half-bird and half-woman creature. Of course, there is a theory of alien abductions as well. In the field of medicine, there is some belief that the stories relating to encounters with succubi bear resemblance to the contemporary phenomenon of people reporting alien abductions. What do you think of the succubus and incubus? Did you like this video? Want to support this channel and get early access? Feel free to check out my Patreon page where I create content on cryptids, hauntings, alien abductions, serious killers, and much more. Can't support me there? Like, comment, and subscribe here.